All right, so well, welcome everyone. This is 10.69.2.2. So we got a minor update. And uh, we're slowing down for this car that's turning right now. Um, yeah, we want to do a quick test over here and we've got some rain as well. Uh, we're doing the residential loop test right now. Uh, residential areas. Uh, heartbreaking over there, checking for for cars and going through very quickly. That's very nicely done. So this is the intersection that uh, on our way back uh, kind of gave us trouble last time. And um, uh, we're gonna see if it uh, if we we have to disengage in that in, in that uh, intersection again. But for the meantime, um, let's do a residential loop, and we'll see um, if there's any improvements. There might not be any minor improvements, but uh, ooh, braking for that car that's turning right. Uh, luckily, we didn't have any cars behind us. That was a little bit of a harsh brake, to be honest. I'm um, hoping for no interventions, no disengagements. The car should move to the right over here. Uh, and it's moving a little bit to the left where we have another car coming up, so that's not very good. Um, stopping and then we should be proceeding it's very slow okay not bad not bad immediately giving a left signal and changing to the next lane since we are going to turn uh, up ahead on this uh, next intersection or in this exit sorry so we haven't really we didn't really signal over there so that's uh that's another thing that we were waiting for. Waiting for these cars to pass by. It should wait for that minivan that's coming up. Actually, the rest of these cars as well. And there's a bus. It's a little bit busy right now since it's uh, uh, looks like it's end of school and a lot of people are picking up their kids and there's school buses around. So it should start creeping forward. Yeah, it's committing. Very nicely done. That was interesting, yeah. That was interesting because that car was still like accelerating and coming towards us and it's still, it was a little bit uh, uh, mindful of it, but it also was aggressively taking that left turn and committing to it. Nobody here on the right side, so the car's, car just checked very briefly and it's going. It's a yield sign, so we can yield, but uh, we shouldn't really stop for a long time on these uh, yields. So yeah, for example, this is um, this is a long stop. It's uh, just like acting as if it's a it's a stop sign. Um, okay, and we arrived to our first destination. Let me see if I can. Um, okay, so let's cancel the first one. I thought it'll just uh, proceed to the next waypoint, but here we go. So we're going for the next one. There's a right turn over here. We don't really need to signal because it's uh, it's a free flow. Nicely done. Yeah, signal was not really required, but we've seen the car stop at those uh, turns as well, so that's not good. But this time it did it well. So a yield sign, again it's stopping for the yield sign. We shouldn't be stopping. Should be a quick check. Alright, so we're coming up here. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. Coming up here on the right turn, we signaled very nicely to indicate for those folks to keep keep, keep driving. Okay, now we have a left turn coming up on this intersection. So we should be signaling and we should be taking a left, left lane over here or closer to the left to turn side. Yeah, it's not too bad. I would move a little bit closer to the left just uh, just in case there's any vehicles behind us. Green light. We should be proceeding. 
since that uh, that vehicle ahead of us is turning right. Okay, yeah. Nicely done. It was cautious, but it wasn't uh, no aggressive acceleration there. So that was uh, that was really good. Gives you confidence to to keep it engaged. Hey, we're gonna come to a stop sign, and we should proceed ahead after this straight away. have to press the acceleration and intervene over here just because the car did not pick up that green light it does does pick it up on the visualization but uh, sometimes it has those hiccups I didn't want to keep it uh, for a long time uh, stopped on the green light just because um, uh, and I wanted to intervene over there because there's a car behind us So FSD Beta is doing a great job with uh, with the rain over here. Um, it's not heavy rain, so if, if you do get heavy rain, you might get um, a disengagement uh, from the FSD, uh, just because it can't see clearly anymore and there's no visibility. But at this case where rain's very, uh, uh, it's not that heavy, it's a light rain, so we have no problems. So signaling left. So this is an unprotected left. All right, so waited for those vehicles and proceeded. Very natural feeling. No aggressive acceleration, it's very smoothly done. So it's kind of similar to 10.69.2. Whoa, there's a car that's, okay. No, that was, that was very confident. I don't know, I don't know if that car was, uh, if it picked up that car or not, but normally when it picks up a vehicle and, and that sort of a distance, it does a harsh brake and it stops for for a while. But uh, yeah, sometimes FSD just just surprises you on, on how confident it is. All right, so we're coming up here to a stop sign and we're turning left. Let's see if this human's gonna gonna be uh, crossing the sidewalk over here no she seems to be proceeding straight so we're gonna stop for a brief moment and then the car is gonna accelerate there's a stop wall over there in the visualization and once it creeps to that wall it's uh, it commits and goes ahead we had a bump over a speed bump over there it kind of slowed down a little bit not too much uh, for my liking though but um, that's okay with the with the testing uh, process over here. That's acceptable. All right, so this is the end of our second waypoint. Is the car gonna turn around over here? Just gonna give it a push. I won't be counting this as an intervention just to see what is it gonna do if it does actually turn around. No, nope. it doesn't seem like it is. So I'm going to disengage and uh, we'll turn it around. And then let's hit continue trip. And we're going back to the, our last destination now. Okay, so we have a right turn coming up. I can't really see over here because there's a bush next to me. But it creeps forward and uh, and carries on. That was um, uh, that wasn't really a stop sign over there, so it shouldn't really stop for a long time. And for this yield as well, it shouldn't really stop for that long time. Well, maybe it's just part of uh, Beta being cautious, not seeing that speed bump at all. It uh, kind of went over it very very fast. Not to my liking. Okay, so we have a left turn coming up over here. I think it's in. Uh, it's on a uh, a stop sign, but it uh, turns up to to a main road. So 
we'll see how it deals with that it detects a median over there and it in fact there is a median but it's a very small area so the car wouldn't really fit if it wants to stop there to let let traffic flow and oh it's going a little bit too close there with and comets and uh, aggressive acceleration i think that aggressive acceleration is due to the um, fact that this intersection is a little bit of a big one and really wants to get in there and uh, get in line or um, make its appearance so that other cars are aware and not uh, show some confidence there I think of that intersection so no signaling here on the right turn which is a shame I'm gonna stop for that didn't stop for those pedestrians but they haven't really committed into getting into the intersection of the crosswalk. It should really turn left over here. It does it very late and uh, delayed, and it's kind of it gets really close to the curb on the right. It kind of scares me a little bit. They should really start um, getting the car to to pull to the next uh, or or when there's a yield and it merges into a, a lane, it should do it a little bit earlier. That would be nice to see. So no interventions so far. This has been a really good drive. Um, hoping to end it in a good in a good way as well. So we have a right turn coming up over here and we've got some pedestrians and a car stopped. Signal's a little bit late. It should proceed over here. It should proceed. Yeah. No interventions, but it was very slow on that turn. Changing lanes to get into the right lane over here because we were having we're going on the right turn on this uh, last intersection. So we're uh, reaching a three-way stop sign over here. Okay, coming to a full stop. Proceeding. Waited for its turn very nicely. It's kind of going very slow on this intersection. It gets a little bit confused when it reaches to this wide road. I think because it can't really pick a lane or find a lane. So it finds it a little bit uh, difficult for FSD over here to determine. But once the, we we reach like the parked cars over here on the side, then kind of hugs the, the yellow lane. Oh, and we're stopping for pedestrians over here. Nicely done. And it should proceed. I'm just going to intervene over here with the acceleration, just because there's cars behind me and cars on my right. So this is uh, the next, the last intersection that we're going to uh, try try to uh, go through. We're gonna have to take a left left turn over here and it messes this up a little bit because we've got a lot of high traffic uh, and lots of cars and it takes this weird stance on the right as well so it doesn't really help. So we're proceeding a little bit. It's being very cautious with the, with the cars turning it's checking for cars and it's committing and it's going very nicely done and it rarely happens where we don't have to disengage over there so yeah overall very uh, very happy about this uh, drive uh, of course we're gonna have to see how it goes uh, how how it performs downtown and we'll do that uh, downtown test loop as well soon with 10.69.2.2 thanks everyone for watching please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that you can follow me and uh, know when the videos are dropping. 
Um, yeah, have a good one.